I, I, I think this means we can construct sharks now. Hey guys, what's going on? Champagne TV here, bringing you guys Range Tank Adventures episode number 5. We've come in very far throughout our episodes, and we just got 92 hit points. This is really cool. Um, we're doing a little bit of Slayer right now, as you guys see in the background, cannoning and blowpiping the Black Demon Task, just because it's so tedious just to stay here for like hours on end doing the stupid Black Demon Task. I really considered uh, blocking it, but I don't really want to spend the 100 points because I do want the herb sack so much. It'd be so beneficial for like Aberrant Spectre Task or um, there's another task where I get a bunch of herbs. I just can't remember it right off the bat. But anyways, guys, yeah, we're doing a little bit of Slayer. We're uh, approaching a level in Slayer and range as well. We're about to get 97 range in a little bit. I don't know if we're going to get it here. I'm pretty sure we will, but that's going to be pretty cool. That means we're going to be two levels off, and we may get another level this episode, but our blowpipe is only halfway full so or, or halfway empty, however you want to look at life on that perspective. But, um... Yeah, it's only halfway there, so we're going to have to do a little bit more of Zoro grinding for Slayer eventually. I don't know if we're going to get any good loot, obviously, but um, that'd be pretty cool. You might see some of that in the future of this video, and I'm hoping to get the 82 construction knocked out. I'm kind of debating. like I don't really know if it'd work or not, but to go for 80 and kind of just spice stew it up to 85 and do what I need to do. So I could save some money there, but at the same time, total levels would be kind of cool. Can just ran out of ammo. We need to hit that up. But, um, yeah. So, be happy about the video, guys. Wish me the lux and all that stuff. We got a clue scroll in the inventory. But uh, I'll be back with some more gains, my dudes. Hey, guys. Just checking in with a little bit of 97 range. That's so awesome. We're two freaking levels away. It's kind of nostalgic from when we got 97 cooking. I was like, oh, got like two levels to 99. But this one's way better because 99 range is like, it's, it's you know, it's the icon of my account, basically. Freaking 99 range. It's supposed to be a range tank, but your boy ain't got 99 range yet. But we're almost there, guys. Two more levels, which is really awesome. I plan to make a huge amount of progression in range and also getting the, like I said, the construction stuff as far as the fairy ring and the the fountain or pool, I don't really know what it's called. I haven't really looked too much into it, but I know what the what it does. I know the reason that I want to get it. So fairy ring, the pool, down in construction, and also the quest cape. So we'll have unlimited teleports to the fairy ring, which that is the real reason I want it, but, you know, it's just a thing. And the elite diaries is something we'll start in the future. I don't really set that in stone, but it is the reason that we're going for the quest cape. But anyways, guys, I'll be back with more gains. I'm glad that we got 97 range. Hell yeah. All right, boys, we got a clue scroll from the last Slayer task. Let's see what we get in this bad boy. Ah, 64K. That's way better than the 14K or 4K or some shit that we got last time. But anyways, I got a gargoyle task, which I'm pretty excited. It's 200 of them, which is a hefty amount. So we should make a good bit of money off of that. I'll be back with some loots, boys. Yo, guys, you're coming in with 78 construction. That's pretty damn awesome. The next level that we're going to come in with is probably 80, and I'm going to try to just make the pool or the fountain, whatever the hell it is. I still haven't looked into it, guys. Don't judge me. But, um, yeah, we're going to make the pool or the fountain or whatever it is going to be in the house at 80. I'm just going to stew it up, and I'm going to save the planks for the rest later. I do plan on getting 83 so I can spicy stew and saw stack. I don't know why I'm still doing this. I'm just doing this so I can explain some shit. But anyways... Um, I didn't get to show you guys the gargle. Yeah, the gargle, guys. The gargles. I didn't get to show you guys that loot, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that up on the screen right now. So here it is. Um, good amount of shits. I'm, I'm recording this live right now, so I'm just fucking free balling. But yeah, let's get some gains, boys. Yo, guys, coming in with 81 Slayer. Uh, I got 43 of these bad boys left. Hopefully, we can get a hard clue scroll, because I've been knocking out a good bit of clue scrolls. And... um. I've just been getting some decent loot from that, but I'll be back at the end of this task if we do get one. If we don't, then I'll probably just get another task. We're coming pretty close. I think we're about fucking five. Uh, I won't be able to find it, but I'm pretty sure we're like four, maybe five tasks away from getting the tenth task, which will give us 75 points. We're around 350 points right now. That puts us at 400 more Slayer points until we get the Herb Sack, which is really amazing. I'll be back with some gains, guys. Yo guys, so I got a Hellhound task, and I went ahead and decided that I'm going to sell my Guthans off for like 4.6 mil. That'll put me at 3.6-ish, 3.64-ish mil. I'm pretty sure I'm doing that math right. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end up buying Armadillo soon. I'm not going to do it yet, 
just because, you know, that put me at, like, very fucking low money, and it's not what I'm looking for. Plus, I need to buy more cannonballs. I haven't really decided if I'm going to cannon this task or not because I don't really feel like doing the Hellhounds, but I'll um, make that decision in a little bit. Uh, hopefully, we get a clue scroll from this shit because I'm kind of looking forward to some random-ass loot or another shitty loot, but we'll see. All right, boys, so we got the casket. Let's go and just head over to the... Back to the stronghold at the Neve Cave so I could get back on my Slayer grind and we'll go grab my shit back. This uh, Hellhound Sass really isn't too bad. i just been blowpiping it. But let's see what the loot is, boys. Uh, three. Wow. I thought that said 370k. But it was 37k. Shit. All right, dudes. I just finished up this. Damn it. I don't even know how to speak. I finished up this clue scroll and like five of the steps were in the wilderness. I legit stayed in the wilderness the whole time until I died at spiders because I got poisoned, which was horrible. But anyways, let's open up this bad boy and get 6k. 52.25k. That's a thing. But anyways, um, that's pretty cool. I don't even remember my Slayer tag. Guys, hold the phone. I remember it. It was Dagonauts. I got like 126 Dagonauts. So I'm going to just blow pipe those motherfuckers. I'm going to go give the DKs some blows. I plan on doing the DKs or the um, Keldegrim, I think, Elite in the future. Or Relica. I think it's Relica Elite in the future. Diary. So I could get the noted Dagonaut bones and go to DKs as the boss. Because, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Make a good amount of money doing that. And um, I could switch back from the mage and range. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in a prior video, but I just decided that I'd reiterate it. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of insight, especially for you new guys. I wanted to throw out that I do, you know, I like the support that you guys are giving me. It's pretty cool. We are getting a good bit of subscribers. And I plan to reach 500 subscribers this year, which isn't really that big of a goal, but it's 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 the goal I set. But anyways, guys, I'll be back with some gains. Hopefully get a good get a good amount of Snapdragon seeds and maybe a medium clue scroll for a chance at some range of boots. But uh, I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so we just finished up our 100... Oh, shit. That's 169 tasks. We need to go to Daredale. Dude, I almost messed that all up. Hey, guys, I just let, uh, thought I'd let you know that the Guthans armor set sold for 4.5-ish mil, which is pretty cool. Uh, that means I could buy Armadillo now. But like I said, I'm not going to do it yet. I'll probably end up doing it after we sell the Slayer tab or depending on how much money we lose from doing this. I know that I will be able to afford it once the blowpipe runs out, which kind of sounds stupid as hell. But you guys, as you know, once I run out of scales or I get down to like... 10 or 5% scales, I go do Zora, and I fill up my blowpipe. And with the money I make from that, it builds up the bank, and I'll be able to get the Armadillo. Now, the reason I, I'm going to spend the money on Armadillo is because it is adding to our Slayer grind. And like I said, I'm going to be going for Slayer grinds as far as, you know, going for the Herb Sack. Now, once I get the Herb Sack, I'm, I'm probably going to change up the goal. I haven't totally decided what that goal is going to be. I did say the Fermic Elite Diaries, which, I mean, yeah, that wouldn't really take long, though. So, with that said, I might go for other things that I would need for Slayer, such as the Gem Bag and the Insold Bearer or the Insold thing. The thing that collects Insold um, Demon Heads or not Demon Heads, just all Insold Heads in general. So that thing as well, because that'd be good for Slayer. So that and the Gem Bag is some things that I'd go for. But with that said, guys, after I do get the Herb Sack and 99 range, I do plan on taking a small break from Slayer because it is kind of a tedious skill. So we're going to end up moving towards, you know, things that we're going to need to benefit us for Slayer in the future. And um, possibly unlocking some of the extended versions, maybe if we can. I don't know if we can, but for Dust Devils and Neck Reels, extend those tasks if it's a possibility. I don't know if you can or not. I haven't really checked into it. But if I can, that'd be nice because that's going to be my main method of leveling defense in the future. And I know that sounds stupid, but what I'm going to be doing is barraging with the defensive method, which means I'm going to have to get a wand because I don't think you can defense cast with a staff. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to be extending those tasks so I'll be able to train defense through my Slayer and also make Slayer gains as well. I don't really want to whip any of my tasks. I mean, I can. I could get some good strength gear, but I don't really see the point in that because, you know, this account isn't really for that. I think it'd be kind of a waste of money, especially when I could be getting magic XP for 99 mage and stuff like that. And yeah, it, I'd probably get 99 defense post 99 mage, like a really far from it, but I'm okay with that. All right, boys, so we just finished up that task, got us 75 points. Now let's get another one, and uh, 171 Dust Devil, that's pretty awesome. That means we could burst that task. We're at 515 reward points. That means we need 235 more points until we could buy the Herb Sack, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess I'm going to go put some money into Barrage or whatever burst, um, whatever I decide to do. 
Okay, guys, so the Gutton sold, and we bought a Master's Wand, because this Master's Wand is the only way I'll be able to use the defensive cast. Yes, there is this option for the Staff of Dead, but once you click it, it says the Ancient um, Magics won't allow you to auto-cast on this. And I did check, guys, I did buy a Staff of the Dead just to find out, and I lost, like, fucking... 18k gg bank bro but anyways yeah we have the master's one now i plan on keeping it which kind of sucks because that means that we're gonna have to wait a little longer to get armadillo but i have faith in the good old zul grind that i'm gonna have to go for to get back our scales because we're only on like 22 percent right now but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and burst up this test and see what we get guys hey guys so i got a choke devil thought i'd show you what an imbued heart looks like no, I'm just playing. But we got a dragon dagger. That's pretty cool. And a damn dark totem base. That's awesome. So yeah, we're getting pretty good gains over here, guys. Not gonna lie. I'll show you guys the loot at the end of the trip. So we're giving the choke devil a chance to redeem itself to give us the abused heart like it promised us last time. So let's see what it is. Ah, dark totem middle. I'll take it, guys. One more and we get a full totem. Hell yeah. Alright, guys. So for the first inventory, 185k. Yo guys, we just got the 95 magic. It kind of came in pretty quick, so I couldn't necessarily record it all. But 95 magic coming in, that's pretty sweet. Alright guys, we got another choke devil kill about to come in. That's the superior, if you guys don't know, the superior for the dust devils. Um, this is our third one for this test, so I'm pretty ecstatic. We got a dark totem top, which I think finishes up our totem that we have in the bank, so nice. Alright guys, so we're getting extremely lucky. This is our fourth superior for this task. I dropped a dark totem, totem top, and we got another dark totem top, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if I could pick both of them up. We just finished this task up, got 12 points. So let's go get another one, guys. By the way, guys, loot from this one was 173k. So you put that together, you give us about uh, 350k for this task. So guys, I did a little bit of the math, and we only used 86k in ruins, and probably about 4 prayer pods, which is about 36k, so give or take 110, 120ish k, and we made 350k, so that's 220k profit from that task, with all the XP gain, so that's amazing. Alright guys, we're about to come in with a, uh, I don't know why that closed, we're about to come in with a construction level, bow 80 construction, that's really awesome. So that means we're two levels away from getting the ornate rejuvenation pool. I actually did a little bit of research, guys. Be proud of me. Be proud of me. But um, I did a bit of looking into it, and it's probably going to cost around 2 mil, which kind of sucks. I'm going to get 82, which with the crystal sauce stack, that's a plus 3 and a spicy stew. That'll get me to um, 90. And what that means is I could make the ornate altar i believe it's called and that means i could switch all of my prayers i mean my uh spell books but i don't really th find that essential i don't think i need that at the moment so i'm not going to do that my main focus is the fairy ring and the ornate rejuvenation pool because it renews like your hp or it restores everything basically special attack everything so that's what i'm focused on right now i'm just going to get that in the fairy ring and i also have to complete fairy tale part two because that's a quest that i never really completed i just started it for the fairy rings and i didn't really care for it um but yeah, once I do that, I'll be able to have the fairy rings out the way, and I'll be back when I have 82 or maybe some Slayer. I think I'm going to get halfway to this level and take a break because I, I could only do this so much. Like, I'm 40k oak planks deep into this, so. But uh, we'll be back, guys. Hey, guys, we're about to hit that final level, which I'm pretty excited for. We're about to get 82 construction, which means we'll be able to make the ornate rejuvenation pool and the fairy ring as well. I'm going to go ahead and end up doing Fairy Tale Part 2 after this one right here. So, bow. 82 construction. That's awesome. So now we could do our boost up to um, 85 with the Crystal Saw for the Fairy Ring and 85 for the Fancy Rejuvenation Pool. And then I'll just Spicy Stew. I'll Spicy Stew for the Ornate one. But anyways, um, I still have planks left over for 83 if I decide that I want the ornate jewelry kit or jewelry box or whatever the hell it's called because that'll be helpful for clues in the future. But anyways, let's go hit up this quest, guys. All right, guys, there it is. Some good XP, two quest points. I'm going to go ahead and use this antique lamp on Slayor. And um, I think uh, now we need to do what we came for. All right, guys, here we are, fairy fix-it, a fairy enchantment, and that's all we needed for the fairy ring in the house. Now, unfortunately, we can't use the saw, the crystal saw boost to make the fairy ring, so I'm going to go ahead and have to boost it up with stews, but it's only three levels, so it shouldn't be that hard, and we'll get the fairy ring put in our nice little house. All right, guys, so here we are, starting it up. 
Uh, I need a saw and a hammer. Well, let's try that one more time, boys. Okay. Restoration pool. Built. Upgrade that bad boy. Revitalization pool. Built. Alright, guys. Rejuvenation pool. And then the very next one is the fancy rejuvenation pool. Now all we got left is the ornate. So let's go get the boost up. Alright, guys. We got a lot of orange stew, but let's go ahead and try this one. I'm going to drink it. Puts us at... 82, nothing happened. Damn. All right, let's try the second one. This puts us at 78. That brought us up. Oh, 77 brought us down. Number three, drink it up. 83, okay. Number four, 84. All right, guys, this is number five. Let's drink it. Got us to 84 again, so nothing there. Yo, guys, so we successfully made the fairy ring. I just thought I'd go for the fair ring first it got us to 86 and we need to get to 87 so it only gave us a plus four we need a plus five so i'm gonna be back with the plus five. <laughs> oh my god i legit just typed that plus five please and it fucking worked guys we got the ornate we got the ornate rejuvenation pool that's so amazing it only cost us like 2.5 mil for every fountain which really sucks ass but we ended up paying like 23 24 mil on construction from 61 to 82 and to get the boost. So now we have the fairy ring, we have the ornate pool, and if I get one more level, I could have the ornate jewelry box and have all the jewelry teleports in the game, which would be cool for clue scrolls. Probably gonna do something like that in the future though. All right guys, let's go ahead and sell off the tab for this episode. All right guys, so we made about 1.1 mil this episode. You gotta keep in mind that a lot of the things that we got were out, so we made a lot more than that. But we're at a 26 mil cash stack, which kind of blows, but you know, it was totally worth it for the construction grind and the new method that we're using for Slayer for the bursting. So it's cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. We're making some gains, boys. Peace out, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, by the way. Almost forgot to say that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, guys.